Uh, so here we go. It's the beginning here. It's all dark. Nothing to do. So that's what I think was the beginning. You know, in the beginning there's there was nothing. And then there was light. Which is God. Truth. All powerful. Everywhere. Well, except where it's really dark. But where that is, that's where the light is the brightest. It's a contrast of things. Now this is how people most view their lives in the day. They find examples. They're focused on the on the dark. And they think that the light goes around the dark. Or in fact, it's not the truth. If you notice this it goes back and forth. And yes, the light is going around the darkness. You would think that the light is trying to consume the darkness. But we do understand that's the other way around. Darkness consumes light. Just like dark paint. It doesn't reflect it back. It just absorbs it. Takes away. It has no way of creating power. Only the light can do that. So when we go into our lives in the secular world, we find ourselves focused on man. Now man really didn't create anything. He can manipulate things. He can absorb things. That's knowledge. And that knowledge is actually dark. It absorbs. It takes up our time. It takes up our energy. We spend a whole lifetime focusing on man and what man wants and what society wants. But it's not what created us. What created us is the light. And even though that the light will outlast the darkness, the darkness will still want to be absorbed by the light. Or it thinks it will be absorbed by the light. As it believes it revolves around it. You know, my needs, my wants what's happening. So we're watching this white go around, but I stapled reality here with this purple cube. That is stapled to reality. And it moves. It moves almost opposite to the darkness. But then you're saying, well, what is real? Everybody looks at the world and everything on it as real. But that is a secular planet. This is the truth. The world revolves around the light. Just like the world revolves around the sun. It keeps its distance. We have time. But time is limited. Or it's forever. It's all perception. And so is how you go about your life. So you're looking at the darkness or you're looking at the light. And here you notice when the light is working, reality doesn't bounce around, it stays stable. So it's a great benchmark. If you put your trust in the light, in the truth, darkness in the world cannot shake it. They'll try to, because they want you to see their way. They're focused on the darkness. When you're not focused on the darkness, they believe you're wrong, where you are speaking the truth. So in the life of darkness, up is down, down is up. It doesn't acknowledge the power, it just consumes it. It doesn't reflect the power, it absorbs it. This is how life is. The creation of life. The test. This is what free will is. This is what God needed to create. 
He needed to create something that gave in a, in a, in a space that takes. In those voids, in the calculations we cannot calculate, lies he. Just like Pi. We're looking for an answer. And in between the spaces, only lies wisdom. That's what we must focus on. Working with the darkness, working with the light, all has purpose too. All will eventually become light. And that's maybe a cycle. I've often thought that maybe the universe was a strobe light. Big bang every, every nanosecond, but for us it's millions of years. Billions of years. Trillions of years. Flashing in nanoseconds. Over and over again. It's hard to say. 